have one pun and square to finish off from the notes. Again, hopefully you guys have been printing off your notes or writing your notes down. So this is item F, um, the final question here on using the simplified Punnett squares until next week when we go to a more difficult set of Punnett squares. So in orchids, purple flowers, capital letter P, is dominant to white flowers, lowercase p. If a capital P, lower P flower is crossed with a little p, little p flower, show the Punnett square. So, um... The first thing we have to worry about is we have one parent, capital P, lowercase p. We're going to put them across one side, so we'll do the top here. So capital P, lowercase p. And then the other parent is lowercase p, lowercase p. So we put them on the side. doesn't matter which side the parents go on, but each parent can give one of these genes at a time. And that's how we take care of that and account for it. So this box right here is going to be a capital P, lowercase p. And this box right here will be two lowercase p's. And this box right here will be capital P, lowercase p. And then lastly, we have two lowercase p's. So now the questions are phenotypes. What do the organisms look like? What are the phenotypes? So what percentage are purple? Well, purple is anything with a capital letter P. So we have two out of four or 50% or one half. Uh, how many are white? Again, 50% or one half. Alright, so I think most people have a basic understanding. So the next document that's attached is this right here. This is pages 2 and 3 of the genetics uh, homework packet. Now they're not numbered, but there are 2 and 3 in my packet. So you guys did page 1 yesterday. And so today we're going to take a look at these Punnett squares. So we figured we'd do one together. So I'm just going to pick one here in the middle. So we'll do the, let's do the second one down here. So the second one down. Uh, again, you can use your drawing tools. That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to be doing um, big R, big R, cross little r, little r. So the one parent goes across the top, so they could give a big R or the other big R, little r, little r. All right, so this box is big R, little r. 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 Um, we got to read the directions here. It says that uh, round seeds are dominant to wrinkled seeds. So capital R is round and lowercase r is wrinkled. So what percentage of the offspring will be round? All of them have capital R. So all of them are round 100%. What percentage will be wrinkled? In this case, we have none that are little r, little r. So 0% are wrinkled. What percentage of the offspring will be homozygous? So homozygous means that you have two big r's or two little r's. So big r, big r is homozygous recessive. Little r, little r is homozygous recessive. There aren't any. They're homozygous. That's 0%. What percentage are heterozygous? So heterozygous means you have a big and a little. 100% are heterozygous. So for each of these, you're going to fill out the Punnett square and then answer the questions to the side. Um, when you get to number 5, uh, you're going to be using T's for tall and short. And when you get to 7, you're back to R's. 8 is R's. Uh, for 9, 10, and 11, looks like you're using capital P and lowercase p. And for 12, uh, this says 12 through 15, but there aren't 15. There's actually only 13 of them. You're going to be using H's. Uh, I normally don't like to use letters like P because sometimes people have a hard time writing their, their P's differently. So make sure when you write your P's, you do a big P, little p. They're very difficult to tell the difference in unless you write them out very specifically. If you want to use different letters, I'm not going to say don't use different letters. I mean, you could use capital D and lowercase d because they look so different. Um, so by all means, do what you need to do so that you can tell what you're writing. All right, thank you.